good morning and welcome back to the channel uh, today's project we're helping out a neighbor it's got a trailer here that uh, she uses for getting hay and all stuff around for a little ranch and uh, trailer lights are in abysmal shape the wiring is just completely deteriorated cracked and crusty uh, if and they don't even work these front marker lights here aren't even hooked up anymore uh, there's a wire there just uh, wrapped around the post this one over here is not hooked up either um, all the wire super crispy and uh, got brakes in it there's a cut right there she uh, came over the other day and had a fuse blown in her truck so I suspected that she had some pretty major electrical problems on the trailer she must have plugged it in and and it blew the fuse so we're gonna put uh, you know this uh, seven pin plug blade plug is uh, eh, I don't know I might be able to clean it up but uh, I've got a replacement that I had bought for another trailer of mine that I wasn't using so we're gonna put a new plug on it and I've got a, uh, a Harbor Freight trailer light kit that uh, I bought for another trailer as well haven't been using it it's been sitting on the shelf for probably a year or two uh, but it'll replace these uh, both tail lights and the two front marker lights on the sides. So we're going to install all that. So we'll also kind of make a product review out of it for this uh, uh, Harbor Freight light kit. Uh, she does have trailer brakes, she said. So we're going to make sure we hook that up. Uh, go take a look at the kit real quick and the plug. So plug we're putting on is this... Uh, Hopkins 7-blade trailer plug. I got this at AutoZone a while back. Passing through Payson, actually, Arizona. Um, <clears throat> but uh, here's the kit we're going to use. Kenway 5-piece LED trailer light kit. Looks like a pretty decent kit. The, the lights are LED. They should be super bright compared to what's in there now. Uh, model number 64337. But... Uh, so we'll uh, do a review on this, see what we think of it when we get it installed, but uh, looks like a pretty typical kit. I've done a few of these in the past. Comes with uh, like 22 feet of wire and then uh, four foot on the other end if you need it, but uh, we're not going to use the uh, four-way trailer connectors. We're going to use a seven pin so it matches what she's got. So, all right, well, let's get started. Uh, Got to get all this old stuff out of here and clean it up and start fresh. Uh, wrap all the wires with tape and uh, wire loom where needed and uh, hopefully it'll, she'll get a nice better system out of it that'll last her for years to come. Let's get started. All right, now that we got it on the jack stands, let's climb under there and get a little better survey of the of the damage. What are we looking at here? So there's the harness coming back. Yeah, there's the uh, left marker light wire just tied up here. Right marker light coming across and just wrapped up around that pole. Wires are hanging down. Surprisingly not any damage right here, but must not hit anything. Uh, got some holes through the chassis. Surprisingly not chafed through but we'll want to make sure we wrap that up really well same thing there one there oh, let's 
lots of spiders. <sighs> yeah, here's the uh, trailer brakes. Not too good here. They're just hanging on the on the leaf springs. And uh, I believe that's the wire going to the other side. Brakes, we'll take a look at that. Probably reuse some of that if it looks like it's in good shape so we don't have to rerun wire through the axle. But uh, anyway, and uh, plenty of these Scotch lock taps that are absolutely awful. In case anybody watching this doesn't know better, don't ever use those. The kit that we have has some of those in it. We're going to throw those directly in the garbage can because these are terrible. Um, maybe if that's all you got, you're in a pinch. But don't leave it there for long term because they're just terrible. So anyway, there's the uh, trailer light for brake, so brake uh, wiring. We're going to cut that out of there. We do that. And we come back. There's a uh, piece of uh, tubing that the wire runs through where the ramps slide in. So let it pass through that area. More of our favorite scotch locks. All up there. There's a piece of angle iron. Welded here. Just to hold on to the wire. Not terrible, but we'll, uh, we'll have to wrap that with some tape or something as we go through there. Just a flat washer welded to the frame for that. More angle iron. And these are black wires, so we apparently have some connections inside of the angle here. So anyway, not a not a real super complex system. Should be able to do a really nice job on this, rewrapping it, and get everything tucked up so it's not hanging down. So let's get started turning out the old stuff. And uh, got a little bit of damage here on this light, so we'll try to hammer that back into shape, get it straightened out, so the new lights sit flat and bolt on all right. We got to make sure the grounds are good, of course. And all right, let's get started. The old lights had a single stud to mount it to that bracket. New ones have a little different mounting style. I'm going to have to see if I can figure that out. Maybe get another little piece of metal and make a new bracket to tie it across that uh, single post that the old one was hooked to. So we'll have to adapt that one. These other ones look like a pretty straight conversion. Grab one of the other ones. Pretty much the same thing, same mounting style. Pretty crusty. A lot of rust in there.
good thing we're replacing it. So it's pretty bad shape. I just wanted to show you. For this application, um, we don't have any reverse lights. And uh, there's no, uh, what's that center one? Let's see, that's reverse lights. We're also not using the uh, auxiliary power. It would be for like charging a battery or something. So, no auxiliary power, no reverse lights. So, we have the ground, we have left turn. That's the, uh, the uh, tail lights or the marker lights. Right turn, and then the electric brakes. So those are the those are the ones we're going to be using, and those line up. The little graphic's a little misleading. That makes it look like this little notch here is on the top. It's really not. There's a notch there, and these light uh, these uh, they have an embossed marker. So like TM. I don't know if that'll be visible or not, but that uh, that one there's TM. So clearly it lines up like that, so that little graphic is a little bit incorrect with that little notch. So anyway, that's the wire marker, or the, that's the uh, wires we're using. I've got them pre-tied together. I've got an extra ground where I'm going to ground it right at the tongue, and then this other ground is going to go all the way back to the electric brakes because they pull a little bit more current. I want to make sure I get a good ground. And I had that extra, that wire. I cut the bad section out of that, and the, the part that was underneath the trailer was still in pretty good shape, so I'm going to reuse that part. So the uh, trailer brakes, this black and the white one, I'm going to reuse that, at least most of the way back if it'll reach. And then uh, the, the pre-made harness from the kit had uh, separate left and right uh, rear turn signal lights, so it has two marker light wires. I just tied them together, so a little redundant because i got to go up down one side anyway. Uh, the uh, the kit's kind of designed to go down left and right, but with the length of this trailer, it doesn't really make sense to split them. And they also already have a route for the harness to go down the one side, so I'm going to just use that. So anyway, I've tied the marker lights together. Uh, I'll have to tap off a few feet back to get the two front side marker lights, and then the uh, the rest of them are, will go back to the back. So that's my tap off to get the two front marker lights. Got that soldered on with some heat shrink and I'll tape over that.
<clears throat> Looks like this cord is just barely long enough that I'll have enough slack so that the suspension can move. I'll just tie it, maybe I'll just tie it to the axle way over here so it'll move with it. And that way it won't tug on the connections. So it looks like we're good on that. Get a razor knife, open that insulation. I'll solder that on. All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and tape that up as well. So I've got tape and solder, heat shrink. That should keep it, because this is gonna get a lot of water and splashes up on it. I wanna do my best to keep that dry and secure connection. wire tie. I'll just tape it. Tape might be better. I'm going to tape that to the axle. These wire ties can get brittle and old. I don't think this tape's going to go anywhere if I get it taped onto there okay. There, with that secured, this can move, but that's going to be attached to the axle. So those connections and the points where it goes into the hub and the axle won't move. And that's got some slack in it, so it should be all right. So I've ran out of wire about there, just about a third of the way into that conduit. I still got to run all the way to the back and then go left and right. So I'm going to extend these wires. We'll solder onto those and extend them. And we just need three wires from here. I got four, but two of these are the same thing. So I'm just going to... Well, matter of fact, I gotta... I've got to split after I get out of the conduit anyway. So I guess I'll just go ahead and run two wires off the, the uh, marker lights since I've got to split it anyway another 12 inches from there so I'll do it while it's out here and handier so we'll get those extended I need a left and right turn signal and a marker light and we'll run those out and that should be the end of the wiring other than terminating to the light, actual light bulbs and then we still got to do the uh, brackets for the front marker lights since they're a different kind of bracket and mount point The camera got too hot and it turned off, so I had to. So you missed a little bit, but I've just run a new wire, soldered some extension wires to the harness, um, so I can reach the ends. Um, so you didn't miss much. And these smaller wires, I'm going to try these little. Uh, they're heat shrink with solder built into them. I uh, used them a few times. They seem to work okay on the smaller wires. I've tried them a few times on the large wires and they didn't work very good at all. By the time it melted enough to melt the solder, the heat shrink is split open, but these little ones might work. I'm going to give them a try. <coughs> Looks like they worked okay this time. Once they cool off, I'll give them a good tug test to see if they work. I've got some flat bar here that uh, just a piece of scrap, but it just happens to be the exact same width as the uh, lights here. So I'm going to cut a piece out the same diameter as that, or same dimensions as that, and then I'm going to bolt that to the uh, hanger on the trailer. So that'll give me a place to put two bolts, and then uh, I can attach it from the rear. Uh, might weld it on, I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it goes.
get a close up of this before I button it up, but I just welded on that plate. Uh, I've got some, I've taped over the uh, ground hole so I could put a connector on that and not have paint. So, before we just had that straight little one inch wide thing, but uh, got that welded on. All right, we're all done. I'm ready to test it. I just got a battery and I've got uh, another other socket for the other side of the vehicle. I'm gonna jump her in and just do some simulations. So let's put it on the lights and see if we can see it. All right, so first one I'll do is the, uh, the running lights, or marker lights, so they should both light up. All right, not sure if that's showing up, but they are lighting it up. Oop. They are on. There's the front side markers. All right, now I'm going to turn off the marker lights and try the uh, That'll also be the brake. Okay. Now this one's on. The other side's not. All right. The last test we're gonna do is see if the electric brakes work. Go ahead and give it a spin. Spinning? Yep. Stop. Awesome. All right. So everything works. Ready to take it off the jacks and give it back to the to my neighbor. All right, well the trailer's done. Uh, I'll just wrap up the video by uh, kind of finalizing my review of that Harbor Freight. Uh, trailer kit but so far I mean I haven't got much runtime but they do light up the installation went smooth the wiring that came with it was fine the hardware was fine I uh, don't really have any complaints um, you know, I had to fabricate my own bracket for the front ones but that has nothing to do with the kit but you know it turned out nice they installed fine they light up uh, we'll see once we get a little you know she gets some runtime on her trailer and, I'll uh, make sure she lets me know if there's any issues with them, but uh, I'm happy with it. Turned out great. Had everything I needed in there. And uh, I'm not using it, but this uh, left-hand one actually has a, a uh, license plate light. I don't know if you can see that. But in the bottom of it, it has a license plate light. So if you had the license plate under it, she has it uh, up by the fender because of it was down here to hit the ground probably or get bumped. New plug. This is that one I bought at AutoZone. I'm sure these are pretty common or typical. Uh, no issues with that. Installed fine. Seems heavy duty enough. But uh, I think that'll be great. Before she didn't have any kind of insulation over that wire. But uh, now I've got the uh, entire harness taped all the way front to back so there's no exposed wiring on any of it except for right where it goes into the each light or uh, right where it terminates into the trailer brake so that is gonna last for a lot of years I'm pretty sure so all right thanks for watching if you find it useful please like and subscribe any comments post them down below thanks take care